Okay, everyone, we're going to start committee now. So are there any motions on the table? Oh, wait, wait, we're going to do roll call really quickly because I see that not everyone is here. So we're going to do roll call. Australia. Uh, can you say present or present in voting? Oh, oh, sorry, my bad, nothing. Um, so Australia is not here. Austria? Uh, present. Bolivia? Present. Wait, so if you say present, you can still vote on the resolutions, right? Yes, and you can abstain. Okay. Brazil? Present. Burundi? Canada? Canada? Okay. Chile? Present in voting. China? Colombia? Colombia? Uh, present in voting. Costa Rica? Present. Djibouti. Egypt. Ethiopia. Present in voting. France. Present in voting. Germany. Present. India. Present in voting. Ireland. Israel. Present. Japan. Nigeria. Present. North Korea. Present. Portugal, Russia, present, Slovenia, present voting, South Africa, present, Spain, UK, Present voting. USA. Present voting. Okay, so some people showed up to the first committee session but didn't say anything for the second one. So I'm going to repeat their names Canada, Egypt, and Spain. Okay, so if you know any of these people or they go to your school, feel free to message them and tell them to join. And once they join, they can private message Ian on Zoom to say whether or not they're present or present in voting. So with that, I'll be taking motions. Does anyone have a motion? Israel? Motion to open, reopen debate. Um, yes, that motion is in order. All, uh, raise your hand if you're for. And I'm gonna lower all hands and raise your hand if you're against. Okay, by chair's discretion, this passes. Just a reminder that in the future, for procedural matters, everyone should vote. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen really quickly.
Okay, so we have resumed debate. Are there any motions on the table right now? Is uh, Israel? Motion for an un, a 10 minute unmod. Are there any other motions? So I see that a lot of you guys have formed blocks already. So we're going to have a working paper deadline at 2.30. So please send all working papers to limbrookmun at gmail.com. Ian is going to type that into the chat so you guys won't forget. So please work with your block members and have your resolutions or your working papers sent to limbrookmun at gmail.com by 2.30. So the requirements are three sponsors and a minimum of five signatories. Can we send it to you if we're still working on it? Uh, please send the final working paper, so the final. And send it as a PDF document. So just a reminder to send your working papers by 2.30 as a PDF document. Um, so. So can you, can one representative from every block raise their hand so I can get an idea of how many blocks there are? Okay, so only one representative from each block. So if you see some, okay, so there are around, okay, so there are three blocks right now, which is good. Okay, so we're, uh, we're good. We're on track for a very successful committee session. So are there any more motions on the table? Okay, with that, we're going to vote on Israel's motion for a 10-minute unmod. Raise your hand. And I'm going to lower all hands now. Please raise your hand if you are against. Okay, so this motion clearly passes. We're now going into a 10 minute unmod. Oh, really? Wait, let me see if we got... Oh, yeah. Oh, we should just, like, start working on the paper. What? Okay, I got Nigeria. Nigeria should be on the top.
Okay, guys, the unmod is over. So, please return to Zoom. So can I ask if you guys are like almost finished with your working papers or just starting them? Like, would you guys like time to work on your papers right now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, so uh, the chair would smile upon a motion to extend the unmod. USA? Um, motion for an eight-minute extension of the pre-existing unmod. The current unmod. Uh, eight minutes? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, sorry, 50, yeah, you're right. Or someone can just motion for a new unmod. Columbia. Columbia. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um. Germany. Motion for a 15 minute mod. Okay, with these in mind, we're going to vote. Uh, all those four USA's five minute extension. Please raise your hand. Okay, I'm gonna lower all hands now. All those against? Okay, this does not pass. I'm gonna lower all hands. All those for Germany's motion for a 15 minute unmod, please raise your hand. I'm gonna lower all hands. And raise your hand if you're against. Okay, so this clearly passes. We're now going to be entering a 15 minute unmod. We're going to move the deadline for the working papers from 2.30 to 2 p.m. So please utilize this unmod and work on your working papers. Hi. Is my mic working now? Anna, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Bro, I was trying to say something, but then my mic showed up as broken. That's a bro moment. Luke, Luke you're talking to the entire okay.
Okay, everyone, the unmod is over. So please leave Discord and return to Zoom. Okay, um, can the leaders of the block please raise your hand really quickly? Just one representative from every block. Um, how many more minutes do you guys need until your working papers will be finished? Maybe. I think yeah, we need minutes. at least like, yeah, 10 more minutes would be good. Okay, so if I give you guys, uh, so if someone motions for a 10 minute unmod, you guys will be finished by the end of it? Yes. Yes, we All will. Right. So are there any motions on the table? Um, I uh, motion, motion for a 10 minute unmod. Uh, please raise your hand and wait for me to call on you. Oh, I did raise my hand. I had raised my hand, yeah. Sorry. Bolivia? Um, I motion for a 10 minute unmoderated. Okay, I'm going to lower all hands. Uh, we're just going to be using this unmod so that you guys can finish your working papers. So all those four. There's actually three. Uh, okay, I'm going to lower all hands. Um, point of inquiry, there's actually three. All those against, please raise your hand. Okay, so this clearly passes. Your working papers will be due by the end of this unmod, so around 2 p.m. So you guys should start working. Okay, so just to clarify, um, all of you will be going into the unmoderated caucus and you should come out by the end of the caucus with a final working paper that you can share to your chairs. So and make sure that you're not, you, you don't have any holes in your resolution. By 1.54, um, you have to be done with your working papers. Yeah. I think we need like another point. Because right now it's mainly like. Because there, wait, there's two points that have like nothing under them right now. Like, uh, it's first and the third one from the top. Daniel, you're talking to the entire committee.
the three minute warning. Sixty second warning. Sixty second warning. Please make reminder sure that make there is paper. one minute left in the unmod. Okay, everyone, the unmod is over, so please leave Discord and return to Zoom unless you can, you can delegate one person in your block to download it and share it to the Gmail account, but otherwise, please return to Zoom. And don't worry about uh, who's saying what. Um, please just turn in your uh, working papers and get back to Zoom. We'll give you time to decide who's saying what a little later. Okay, so the chair would smile upon a moderated caucus while the rest of the committee staff compile all the working papers together. So, uh, oh. so are there any motions on the table? Uh, Slovenia. Um, motion for a thirty minute. Um, sorry. Um, a one minute. Sorry, a five minute moderated caucus with thirty seconds speaking time about whatever resolutions are about. Olivia. <coughs> uh, um, I had a question. Uh, 
point of parliamentary inquiry? Yeah. Um, so this, these aren't the actual like resolutions, like we can still vote on them, right? Or can you repeat your question? Yeah, so these are just like the working drafts, like these aren't the um, final, like final resolution, right? Yeah, so what you're going to do is you're going to present your working papers and then you can make amendments as seen fit later on. Okay, thank you. Um, USA? Um, a three minute mod, 45 second speeches on resolutions. Okay, I'm going to lower all hands now. All those for Slovenia's motion for a five minute, one minute speaking time on resolutions, please raise your hand. Just a reminder that for parliamentary proceed for a procedural item, all of you guys must vote. So I'm going to lower all hands now. Please raise your hand if you're against this motion. Okay, this does not pass. Now we're gonna vote on USA's motion 345 for resolutions. Please raise your hand. Okay, I'm gonna lower all hands now. Please raise your hand if you are against. Okay, this clearly passes. USA, would you like to speak first or last? Um, first, please. Okay, we will be taking three more speakers. Please raise your hand. Austria. Slovenia. UK. Um. USA, your time starts whenever you're ready. Okay. During the previous unmoderated caucus, the delegation of the United States of America had the privilege of working with nations such as UK, Germany, and many others to basically finalize our working paper and resolutions. So the main points of our proposal focus on a few things. First is informing the public of antimicrobial resistance. And a main reason why AMR is such a prevalent issue even after many decades is because the public, many members of the public do not know what it is. And this includes education. Second, we advocate for the training of medical professors, professionals in developing nations to prevent corruption and overuse. Um, and we also urge developing nations to allocate funds towards research and providing these materials and services to developing nations. So if you would like to support our, um, our resolution, please do so and thank you. Thank you, USA. Austria. In the previous unmoderated caucus, the delegation of Austria worked alongside the delegation of Israel and the delegation of North Korea. Together, we found uh, three main solutions, but the third solution is what I'll be focusing on. So it's basically a, a global system that will make sure that antimicrobial resistance is one taken care of two won't resur resurface again and three is cured so we're going to put a surveillance system that uh tracks data from all the countries in the world especially those in the first world countries that already have this data in place but we'll also put more systems in less developed country and an education output to educate people about the horrors of antimicrobial resistance using both ads and public classes Thank you, Delegate. Slovenia. Slovenia. The delegation of Slovenia, um, along with Bolivia and Chile and many others, worked on um, a resolution and we had three solutions there are many parts of the solution but one part is a hand washing campaign and education we would like to um educate people about um and talk i have speakers to go to schools to talk about um to talk about and and platforms like ted and, and underdeveloped areas to talk about 
um, what anti antimicrobial resistance is and how you can avoid it. And use utilize social media. So Thank you, social delegate. media. And Thank you, delegate. Pages of AMR. Thank you, delegate. UK. During the on um, during that unmod, the UK had the honor of working with many different countries, such as Germany, USA, India, and many more. Our resolution focuses mainly on educating the public as well as medical professionals on the dangers of antibiotic resistance. We also provide extensive details to help underdeveloped countries farm animals as well as training medical staff to prevent over over a prescription corruption and also help underdeveloped countries understand the the dangers of resistance. And if you agree with these ideas that we stated, uh, helping medical professionals, animals, and the general public, we ask you to please support our resolution. Okay, with that, let me text the staff really quickly to ask if they're done. Okay, so now we are going to present our working papers. So Amy will screen share. Point of inquiry. Okay, so can you guys wait for a minute while the staff prepares your working papers? Do you guys need time to discuss with your block on who will be presenting? Yeah. Okay, so we'll give you three minutes. Oh, okay. So are there any motions on the table right now? The chair would smile upon a brief unmod to discuss with your block. Um, Slovenia? Yes. Oh. Um, so do I have to present this? What did I say? Um, we're gonna, we're the chair, the chair would smile upon a brief two or three minute unmod to discuss with your block on who will be presenting. Um, okay, um, more, um, I, eight minute moderate caucus for... Um, the chair would smile upon a two or three minute unmod to discuss uh, with sorry, your I mean block. Unmod. I mean, eight minute unmod. Uh, would you amend that to a three minute unmod? Sure. You just. Sure. Okay, so Slovenia motions for a three minute unmod. All those four, please raise your hand. I'm going to lower all hands. All those against? Okay, this motion clearly passes. Please take three minutes to discuss with your, please take three minutes to discuss with your block on who will present. I can present the medical professionals and animals one, because I wrote Luke, those. Luke, you're talking to the Daniel, entire, mute yourself, Daniel, please. Daniel, you're talking to the entire committee.
Okay, um, so that's the end of the unmoderated caucus. So we're, we're currently at the end of the unmoderated caucus. Um, so right now, um, I'll be entertaining any motions. Um, the chair would smile upon entering formal uh, into a formal block. Formal caucus. Um, hold on. So, okay, we're just gonna start, go ahead and present the resolutions. So the first resolution is the best resolution and the sponsors are UK, Germany, and USA. Um, any amount of sponsors, up to three sponsors are allowed to speak for this resolution. So if you could just unmute and um, we will be giving you point uh, of inquiry. Wait, yeah. yeah um, are only sponsors allowed to present? Yes, only sponsors are allowed to present, and you can have up to three people presenting. So not all sponsors have to present. Uh, wait, can we have some more time? Yeah, yeah can we, we, we have, we have like everyone? Like, everyone presenting? Yeah, because we thought everyone had to present. Yeah, we didn't know. Um, okay. In that case, since because we're short on time, um, I won't be placing limitations on the amount of people who can present. So yeah. according to what you presented in prepared in your unmoderated caucus. Um, so right now we're going into um, formal caucus and we're presenting our resolutions. Um, did you, okay, so I'm just gonna ask like for everyone in the best resolution, did you prepare this with like every single person uh, in this resolution presenting something? Yeah. Yeah, it's like everyone just presenting like a part. Yeah. Okay. Um, just because of time, would you say five minutes is good in terms of how much time is good for presenting this resolution? Yeah, I think it's good. Yeah, five minutes is good. Okay. So, um, Just introducing, this is the best resolution with sponsors UK, Germany, and USA, signatories South Africa, Nigeria, France, Canada, and India. Um, you may start presenting your resolution. The General Assembly, acknowledging that this crisis is detrimental to the entire human population as a whole, regardless of a nation's wealth or, and level of development. Emphasizing the importance of AMR research in underdeveloped countries. Directing of WHO funds to research and awareness. We will direct 200 million US dollars to fund research of other possible actions for startups that specialize in other solutions. As well, we will direct 400 million US dollars to fund education and awareness campaigns. Calling upon developed nations to increase communications by sharing their research findings requires transparency from aid receiving countries supervising organizations in order to eliminate unintended consequences such as corruption or bribery. Recognizing the importance of providing education to both people and healthcare providers, one aims to provide, inform the public of the antimicrobial resistance issue using NGOs and other healthcare related organizations. A is that organizations including APUA, the Alliance for Prudent Use of Antibiotics, CIWF, Compassionate, Compassionate and Rural Farming, shows how farming can be changed, and also the Keep Antibiotics Working campaign. Seeks to educate the public on the importance of adequate sanitation, especially in underdeveloped nations. Increasing public health is necessary to reduce antimicrobial resistance. Clean water and good governance will limit the presence of waterborne and foodborne diseases, especially in rural, rural sectors, reducing the necessity of antibiotics. Advocates for the training of medical professionals in developing nations, educating medical develop, edu educate medical professionals about inappropriate antibiotic usage, as well as over prescription of antibiotics. Provide information about any options that might help us move away from antibiotics such as vaccinating more people, especially in flu season, and educating people about setting a high standard, standard of hygiene in hospitals. 
require transparency from aid receiving countries, supervising organizations in order to eliminate unintended consequences, such as corruption or bribery. We will prevent purposeful overprescription through bribery, as well as hold medical providers legally accountable for overprescription. Prevent drugs prescribed with little thought that will result in hospitals with colonies of superbugs. Reduce easy access to strong antibiotics without prescription or diagnosis. Uh, urges developed nations to allocate funds towards research, as well as providing education and improving sanitation in developing nations. The funding will go towards lesser developed nations based on needs. In addition to informing the public and providing training for medical professionals, the funding to each nation will allow for research and to find alternatives and reduce the unnecessary use of antibiotics. Nations will also leverage their pre-existing initiatives such as that of the CDC in the United States to combine with those of other nations and provide a comprehensive and inclusive network of governments, corporations, and organizations. Calls upon all nations to create restrictions on usage of antibiotics on farm animals. Major food corporations should utilize their brand names to prevent the excess usage of antibiotics in livestock for growth and feeding purposes. We should create incentives for farmers to abstain from antibiotics such as approved antibiotic-free stickers to promote sales of non-antibiotic meat. And we should also implement restraints on access to antibiotics for farm animals by requiring a veterinarian prescription before selling uh, antibiotics for food animals. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, so thank you, um, the best resolution. Uh, moving on to our second resolution, the road to the finish line. Again, um, I'm just going to stress that you don't have to read off. You can still summarize and add any points of your own um, to explain what you're talking about. So this is um, the AMR, the route to the finish line, sponsors Ethiopia, Chile, and Brazil, signatories Bolivia, Costa Rica, Slovenia, Colombia and Nigeria. Um, you don't have to, again, like this is all, the way you present it is completely up to you. You don't have to read word for word and you will have five minutes to present your resolution. Okay. Um, the member countries of this resolution recognize that antimicrobial resistance is an extremely urgent issue that needs to be resolved, understanding that solutions must be viable in the short term and long term, realizing that many countries may not have enough funding to monitor antimicrobial resistance and understanding that our nations must work together to solve this issue. Our first solution is to encourage nations to create global surveillance programs for antimicrobial resistance strains. We can accomplish this by providing funding for poor countries who cannot afford to set up the system without outside assistance, incentivizing countries through funds provided by these loans to set up a surveil surveillance network, creating a database with information regarding potentially resistant strains, and creating a subcommittee named the Antimicrobial Resistance Tracking Committee, or ART for short. This subcommittee will utilize the surveillance system and database and analyze the data. This will allow us to find the source of antimicrobial resistance and local health workers under WHO guidance to fix that source. Um, restrict the usage of current antibiotics, which is ensuring that all countries make all antimicrobial substances only purchasable through prescriptions. Educate the public on the misuse of antimicrobial substances. Restrict pharmaceutical companies from bribing doctors or pushing healthcare workers to prescribe their drugs. We encourage countries to make bribing healthcare officials a felony with large cash fines towards companies. Establish regulations on the use of usage of new drugs, which is limiting the distribution of new drugs to approved hospitals, requiring that all drugs be administered by certified doctors. Drugs should not be prescribed to someone unless they are in some pain that may last over a week or it can, can cause significant damage. And punish doctors with heavy fines that intentionally poor that intentionally poor, poorly over administer antibiotics. 
and regulate any secondhand medication that may be brought to underdeveloped countries. And uh, educating healthcare workers on the misuse of antibiotics. This includes educating doctors through antimicrobial microbial training programs, creating guidelines that a person must pass to become a healthcare worker, provide physicians with better diagnostic tools to more accurately prescribe antibiotics, and create a hand washing campaign to help educate schools and businesses alike. Educate and bring awareness to the public about the dangers of AMR. Have speakers speak to schools and large platforms that many people will see, for example, TED, in developed and and underdeveloped areas. Utilize social media and have online personalities talk about the dangers of AMR. Encourage scientific studies regarding antimicrobial resistance. Provides money to existing institutions in the process of developing new drugs. Encourage countries to give more governmental grants to medical researchers. Fund money regarding research for AMR so scientists can better identify what is working. You still have a, you still have over a minute left. Okay. Um, so thank you, AMR. Uh, moving on to our next resolution, APE, Antibiotics, uh, Phages, and Education. Uh, sponsors: Austria, Israel, DPRK, signatories: Bolivia, Brazil, Chile, Costa Rica, and USA on the topic of antimicrobial resistance. Um, whenever you're ready, uh, you can start. Again, this is five minutes and you can present in any method of your choosing. Okay, our solution, the resolution APE realizes that antimicrobial resistant bacteria already exist and that we must act quickly. It enforces the limitations of antibiotic overuse in tandem with education. It calls for funding by different countries on this topic to further the development of this world and it researches the addition of new cures to drug-resistant infections, and pushes for the boundaries of science with new and innovative solutions such as bacteriophages. So solutions. There are many ways we can uh, stop the spread and the deadliness of AMRs. So one, controlling bacteriophages for our use. So phages only target a specialized kind of bacteria. So if we utilize the right kind of bacteriophages to kill bad bacteria, then that's the way we can solve this, the problem of bacteria that, that has no other way of going away. So this has already been tested on bacteria that was resistant to both antibiotics and alcohol, and it worked. And if we implement it on a large scale, we might never need antibiotics again because, bact because they can evolve around bacteria that has evolved around them. So funding for this solution. So we will take 50% of total funding for bacteriophage research. And our total funding comes from every country's whatever budget they want to give. So it's all voluntary uh, donations, plus a different companies like McDonald's has a has a, a system in place with the CDC to give funding and also we will detract funding from the IMF and the total World Health Organization budget and 50% of that budget will go to the bacteriophage research. The next part is manufacturing bacteriophages. So this is very highly experimental and might not work, but it has to do with gene editing. If we find the right way to make to make a gene uh, a gene a genotype of a correct kind of bacteriophage, we can manufacture we can manufacture these bacteriophages because they're not exactly living things either. They're viruses, which is just genetic material in a hull. And if we find a way to copy that genetic material, uh, we would be saved forever. Okay. Thank you. Um, so now that we have presented all the resolutions. No, wait, wait, we're not. We're not uh, sorry, we we're didn't. Not done. Sorry. Um, we, we still have a lot to go. Mm. Oh, we still have our. Third we're on the third, the third um, clause. Yeah. All right. So um, our solution ensures the research and production of new antibiotics by funding innovative um, antibiotic cures to bacteria. This can mean evading funds from mass producing antibiotics instead of researching um, new antibiotics. 
no, instead to research new antibiotics. There are problems with this, however, and it would require a lot of money. And um, right, and then with the new infrastructure in place um, in large laboratories and research development infrastructure, we can uh, start researching new antibiotics. This is pretty self-explanatory, and this will be funded by the WHO budget funding as well as IMF loans. Um, we also plan to create a subcommittee within WHO, WHO called IABC, International Antibiotic Creators, which will be the R&D of getting new antibiotics to deal with AMR. So we're going to form a new subcommittee for global surveillance and education. Uh, and this will be called the IABC, which will monitor and ensure that the quality of antibiotics is proper. There will be two branches, one for surveillance and another one for education. So for the surveillance committee, it's called SC. Uh, and surveillance is taken by each country's health organization, such as CDC, APHO, IMH. And um, based on human consumption, we're going to have restricted distribution. Uh, and that means that pharmaceutical companies can only provide certain and limited amounts of antibiotics to healthcare facilities. And this will only be distributed to people who need it immensely. And for agricultural con consumption, if anyone wants to add antibiotics to animals, it must be needed and approved by that. For education, this committee is called EC. Uh, this committee's main job is both spreading awareness and teaching people, farmers, and doctors to limit antibiotic use. Every country's organization will be in 30 seconds left. Hosting ads and hosting health classes in different locations. And this includes hosting classes in public libraries and schools. And uh, it'll just add more classes into the curriculum, uh, just like common sense media is included. And we'll also be hosting different classes in corporations, uh, just like how a company sometimes provides like language classes and others. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so now that we have presented all three resolutions, um, I'll now be entertaining any points or motions. Uh, the chair would also smile upon um, discussing the resolutions that were currently proposed in some manner. So are there any points or motions? Um, Austria? Motion for one for and one against for every resolution. That is in order. Chile? This is a point of inquiry. Mm -hmm. One of the people in our um, block, they failed to say the last block, so we just say the final block. I mean, final clause. Uh, like yeah, I would do that. Okay, uh, so what you can do is you can motion for um, a moderated caucus to elaborate on your resolutions, um, a short moderated caucus to like explain anything that you might have missed in the presentation. So it, do, you, do any of you want a motion for that? Slovenia or... Um, a um, one minute with the sorry, a, a two minute with the one minute speaking time about um resolutions. I'm gonna rule out dilatory. Um, I would say that uh, at least each moderate caucus needs to be at least three minutes, so you can okay. have like three minutes with the one yeah, minute three minutes with the one minute speaking time. Okay. Um, okay, any others want to point, um, make any motions? So I'll also be entertaining a 242 two against for resolutions, and in this way you can also elaborate on anything that you missed out. Um, the chair will highly smile upon a 242 two against. Are there any other points or motions? Uh, can I amend mine to 242 against? Yes. Okay. Is it a 141 against? Okay. Mm -hmm. And also, did you um, specify a speaking time? Oh, yeah. Um, 45 seconds. 45? Yeah. Okay. Hold on, I'll screen share. Okay. 
So um, we're not going to be voting on the two motions that we have. Austria 242 against 45 seconds speaking time is the most uh, disruptive. So um, all those in favor, please raise your hand. This is just a reminder that everyone needs to vote. Mm -hmm. Okay. All those opposed? And all those abstaining? Okay, this motion clearly passes. We will now be in a 242 against with a 45 second speaking time. Austria, would you like to speak? Um, Is it okay would you like to speak first or last? Or would you like to speak? Um, okay, never mind. Uh, going for the first resolution uh, is the best resolution, and we're going to be taking speakers for and against. Wait, point of inquiry. Mm -hmm. uh, which which speakers go first in the form against? So typically we have two speakers for and two speakers against, with the for being first. Oh, okay. Point of inquiry. Um, uh, is it only the sponsors who are allowed to speak for? No, the entire committee is allowed to speak. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Wait, um, Maya, could you clarify? Some people are wondering what 242 against is. Okay, so just to clarify, what 242 against is, is to explain more about your resolution and to convince people to vote for that resolution. So for example, if you didn't get to explain too much in your um, presentation and you want people to vote for your resolution, you can elaborate to convince others. So you would speak in favor. However, if you don't want people to vote for another resolution, you could speak against it and like question any holes that the resolution may have. So taking speakers for the best resolution, this, this means you are speaking in support of the resolution. So UK and Germany. Two speakers against. Austria and Israel. Wait, point of inquiry. Can you uh, can you sh present the resolution while you're like while we're talking so we can see it? Yeah, that's a, that's a good point. Um, so, Amy, if you would screen share. We're, we're gonna send out uh, PDFs for each paper. Would it? Would you? Um, what do you think? It would be extremely helpful to have the resolution up, or do you think that it wouldn't make a difference if you had it? I mean, if I had it, I would I would know what to say, I guess. But like, I, it's okay. fine. It's fine. I, I I don't need it. You don't need it. Okay. Um. So then we'll be going with a forty-five second speaking time. Um. UK, you have the floor. Wait. Wait. Who Who else is? Is it Germany? Yeah. So UK and Germany are you are the speakers for. Wait. Wait. Yeah, you can just start whenever you're ready. Wait, wait, Germany, are you ready? Um, this is you you have two separate speeches. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so you, you can start okay. whenever you're ready. Uh, as a delegation of the United Kingdom, we would just like to reinforce why we believe our resolution is very good. So basically, our resolution covers all of the main causes and all of the main issues of antibiotic resistance. The best resolution includes education of resistance to public as well as healthcare professionals. The United Kingdom also covers many different topics that resistance would affect, such as 
supporting underdeveloped nations, doing research to understand this issue, and also improving restrictions on usage of antibiotics on farm animals. So there, uh, uh, the resolution also covers uh, issues such as, uh, oh, such as uh, holding. Uh, okay, thank you, UK. Legally responsible. Uh, additionally, um, if you want to talk about your own resolution, just a reminder that you can just open up your own and go through the points if that helps. Guys, um, if you can look into the chat right now, I posted a link and you can access all the papers there. So please go on there and have the resolutions open while you're giving the speeches because it could help you guys a lot. Okay, Germany, just let me know when you're ready. I'm ready when you are. Okay, you have the floor. The delegation of Germany would like to highly commend the, or the United Kingdom and our, all the other countries that helped us with this uh, resolution. The resolution, as previously stated, addresses all aspects of this problem. We address how healthcare providers need to be, or healthcare providers and medical officials need to be aware of the consequences of their actions but, but when prescribing antibiotics. We also address how we can change up and use different formulas to address the or to address the problem. In addition, we we address how farming should be taken into a change and considered a different possibility. We show possibilities such as using NGOs to help uh, educate the public, and with further things, we we require transparency and aid countries that do not have or are not developed enough. To Thank you, Germany. Aware. Um, one second. Uh, before we go on to another speaker, um, I just have to talk with the staff a little bit. Just give us a just give us a few moments, one second. Okay, everyone, we're now going to be doing our two against speeches. So give me one second. So Austria. Um, Austria, whenever you're ready. Okay. So this resolution has a lot of holes in it when it comes to both funding and um, the actual uh, the actual resolution itself. So my partner will talk about the funding, but then so the problem in this with this actual resolution solutions is that it's only working on preventing antimicrobial resistance from forming. But what you have to realize is that there's already bacteria that is resistant to antibiotics. This resolution has no solutions in combating uh, bacteria that's already resistant and instead focuses on stopping new resistant bacteria from forming from forming. Yeah, so that's a good idea, but you need to add some something that stops bacteria that's already resistant, such as making new antibiotics or other solutions. Thank you, Delegate. Now we, be, we will be entertaining Israel whenever you're ready. I would like to highly commend the previous speaker on saying that there were many holds within this resolution. Uh, he stated about how they talked about only preventing antimicrobial resistance, although there already is antimicrobial resistance, as there has been since 1928. 
uh, and there are also many holes in funding. They only have developed nations allocating funds towards research and providing education and improving sanitation in developing nations. But they don't have any funds to create bigger healthcare facilities and to create and to have treatments. They only have for research. Research and development is what is key to solving this problem. Thank you. Thank you, delegate. We will be now moving on to the next resolution, AMR. And we'll be taking two, four, two against 45 seconds speaking time. Um, point of inquiry. Yeah. Um, so this is the, uh, the one with the root in it, right? Like the root to success or I think those along those lines. Yes. Okay. Um, also, if we have extra time left over, do we yield to the chair? Um, you can just, yeah, you do yield, you do yield. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So now I'll be taking two speakers for this resolution. Please raise your hand. Chile, Bolivia. And I'll also be taking two speakers against. So please raise your hand if you are against. Is there anyone who has not spoken yet this committee? If you, if you, if you, if you only spoken once or twice, then you guys will get priority and I will let you guys speak. Okay, if no one wants to speak. Austria, and then Israel. Chile, whenever you're ready. The delegation of Chile strongly supports this resolution. This resolution is able to target several things, such as tracking the spread of a, um, AMR, um, making sure that the usage of antibiotics is not overtly used and it also establishes many regulations and it also brings awareness to the public. This resolution has a great funding idea of pulling fu funding from the WHO budget, creating a fund pool which countries will donate to in respective amounts to their GDP and holding, holding fundraisers during the World Antibiotic Week to raise money for the resolution and also utilizing social media personalities which will both bring about more awareness for about, about the issue of AMR and it will also you, raise delegate. money. Bolivia. Our plan has a multi-sectoral response, which is important and is in agreement with the kind of response we need. We're educating, holding scientific studies, and using surveillance to fight against the global problem of ARM. Clearly, the outline plan will ensure that the maximum number of people will be benefited, which is the purpose of WHO. The purpose, the course of action is clear, and the delegation of Bolivia, along with the other delegates who have um, made this re re resolution, urges countries to reflect on this resolution, for it fulfills the purpose, of, for it fulfills the purpose that we're gathered here. Thank you. I yield the rest of my time to the chair. Thank you, speaker. Next, we will be having our two against speeches. Austria. Whenever you're ready. Okay. Just like the last resolution, this resolution has a lot of holes in it. Um, so first off, you wanted to add a hand washing campaign in it, but uh, there's many bacteria that is both resistant to antibiotics and um, alcoholic uh, hand gels, such as, yeah, I'm not gonna say it, but it's a long one, okay? And it's resistant to both antibiotics and uh, alcohol so if you have something like that you got what the both of these resolutions fail to do is tell us how they're going to combat these did you know that already thirty-five thousand people die yearly in the united states because of this stuff you guys act like this bacteria is only going to come later on and you have to prevent it but what you don't realize is it's already here could i um speak for okay, so Lithuania. can I speak for um the other country because this is what I was actually like um Slovenia please raise your hand if you wish to speak 
and like raise your hand if you have a point of inquiry because if not then you can't interrupt during the speeches so do you have a point of inquiry yes okay what is your question can i talk for the previous speaker for the four? no you can cannot I go, um okay okay so israel whenever you're ready just like my partner said this resolution has a lot of major holds for example this hand washing campaign uh that what he said that bacteria are not only on the outside of your skin but it's also in the inside around in your body systems so hand washing won't really help this situation much more than what's happening right now we need effective solutions and also i believe that um not just educating health workers on the misuse of antibiotics but educating the public on the misuse of antibiotics they are talking about educating the public about dangers of amr yes that is true that needs to happen but the public also needs to know about the misuse of antibiotics because if they hear from a doctor they may listen but other people will not it's natural it's the human nature thank you okay thank you speaker Lastly, we will be doing 242 against 45 speaking time for resolution ACE. Please raise your hand if you wish to speak for. Okay, right now I'm going to lower all hands. Please raise your hand if you wish to speak for. USA, DPRK. I'm going to lower all hands. Please raise your hand if you want to speak against. Nigeria, UK. USA, whenever you're ready. The delegation of the USA would first like to focus on this resolution and then move on to the bigger picture. So first about this resolution. This resolution provides, one, a common point about education, which almost every resolution has included, which is improving uh, awareness. Second, a solution which is using bacterial phages. However, we need to consider the big picture. Antimicrobial resistance is a global issue, and each one of the three resolutions includes a specific point that they wish to argue and solve. If we include all of these organizations, all of these resolutions, if we pass all of them, we include the most comprehensive and most inclusive solution by uh, including essentially the best points of all these three resolutions. So please consider all three resolutions in your voting. Thank you. Thank you, USA. Now we will be entertaining DPRK whenever you're ready. The DPRK has worked with countries like Austria and Israel on Resolution ACE, a solution that addresses surveillance, education, and research through innovative methods of advertisement and exploration. Additionally, it is the only solution that moves beyond the basics of antibiotics by allowing for new discoveries to be made. If we stick only to the past, we will not make progress. As our great leader first said, those who do not know history are destined to repeat it. Other solutions are all repeating history while we are moving forward to a brighter future. Our solution truly represents the epitome of solutions and reflects the image of our supreme leader, the highest incarnation of revolutionary comradeship. Thank you, Delegate. Now we will be having our two against speeches with 45 seconds speaking time. Nigeria, whenever you're ready. The biggest concern of the delegates of Nigeria is that 50% of the total funding is allotted for bacteriophage research. However, under the section manufactures bacteriophages, it mentions that this is highly experimental and it, the probability and odds are that um, this, uh, ma ma the manufacturing is not achievable. And um, it also goes about creating organisms. However, this will also take time, so this is not really an immediate response as well. It will um, be more of a preventative response for future uh, 
future organisms. The second uh, concern that the delegates of Nigeria have is that this focuses on um, bacteria. However, there are other... Hey, delegate. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Uh, so this resolution brings up three main points, all of which are flawed. First off, the bacteriophages that they speak of are completely hypothetical. There's no evidence that this, techno this technology will ever exist, let alone currently exist. Furthermore, that will require creating a bacteriophage for every single illness that exists, which is just absurd. And even they know this, stating that this is experimental, we, we probably can't even achieve it, yet still spending 50% of all of their funding on it. They also mention new antibiotics, but say in their own resolution that this will be extremely costly, will take a lot of effort, and also has a lot of problems. That's what they said. Lastly, they highlight on creating a new committee, the a IABC, yet provide, provide no reason whatsoever why that committee will differ from any other antibiotic resistance committee, Thank such you, as Delegate. the War Alliance Against Antibiotic Resistance. Thank you. So now my co-chair Maya will be taking over. Maya? Yeah, one second. Okay, so in this, so after we did um, two for, two against for all three resolutions, uh, we'll now be going into the process of creating mergers. So does anyone have any questions on what mergers are? Um, point of inquiry, what are mergers? Okay, so basically mergers are when two different blocks um, get together and create a new resolution that takes the best part of both resolutions. So, yeah, so you take, you take your two working papers and um, the best parts of both and create a new resolution. And you also uh, omit parts that may have been questionable uh, to the other delegates. And just try to like perfect your paper and try to work with the other delegates in a sense of diplomacy. So you'll have um, time to do that in the next 30 minutes around. Uh, point of inquiry, how many sponsors can you have after the um, merge? After a merge? Oh, after wait, 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 my bad, sorry. Okay. That's a, that's a, that's a good question. Um, you'll still have three sponsors after a merger. So even if two blocks merged, um, you would still have three sponsors. So you have to choose between yourself who would be this. Uh, no, no, you, you still have the same amount of sponsors. Um, whoever is a sponsor and adds clauses would be a sponsor. But for the speakers, you would only have this um, up to three speakers for each uh, final paper. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you, you, could, you have to divide the resolution uh, between yourselves one more time after this. But if there's only three blocks, right? So won't that one? So in the end, there'll only be two blocks, right? Um, yes, this is the most likely scenario. There will be two blocks. Okay. Point of inquiry, um, is it possible if um, all delegates try to work together to make one? That is possible Ooh, as well. Slash V monk. Uh, it's possible that all, all of you get together to form a final resolution. Um, and it's also possible that if some of your, some people in your block like another resolution more, um, you s split blocks. Like there's a bunch of possibilities. It's up to you in whatever unmoderated caucus you propose to join and form your final blocks and create your final working papers. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Please, um, we want to limit the amount of resolutions, so we're going to accept one or two resolutions um, before presenting our, uh, the, re the final resolutions and receiving amendments. Um, so what do you motion for if you want that to happen? So you can motion for an unmoderated caucus. Okay. So are there any points or motions on the floor? Nigeria. Motion for a 15 minute unmod caucus.
Austria. Um, motion for a 30 minute unmoderated caucus. Okay, I'm gonna roll that dilatory um, just because we typically don't have just one mod, um, moderated caucus. We typically have an unmoderated caucus and a one moderated caucus to finally decide on which blocks are formed. So one thing that we can also, 20 minutes? Since this is online, we can't. Yeah, okay, since this is online, we can, we can also entertain a, a moderated caucus just um, to discuss like what's in your resolutions. And then while you're in your moderated caucus, people can also work in the Discord and find and form blocks. So you can try to do like both at once, kind of like a one um, inside, like one outside kind of situation. But, um, or, okay, like you, you know how, okay, never mind. Um, but you can also try to form blocks like on, on the Discord as well um, while you're hearing other people speak. So, yeah, so the chair was smile upon one Marty caucus. Um, in the next 30 minutes and one on moderated caucus. So are there any other points or motions? So we have, well, we have 15 minute on mod. Are there any other points or motions for a moderated caucus? The chair will highly sm smile upon a moderated caucus. Austria? Uh. Motion for a 15 minute moderated caucus, uh, one minute speaking time. But then uh, what you were describing, what would the, what would I say for description? You can just do it about mergers. Uh, okay, about mergers. The chair was smile upon a shorter moderated caucus and a longer unmoderated caucus. Bolivia? Um, our eight minute mod with one minute speaking time about mergers. Austria, would you be uh, willing to amend your 15 minute moderated caucus to eight minutes? Yeah, sure. Okay, that is an order. Um, okay, now we're not gonna just vote on these following two motions. Uh, all those in favor of a 15 minute on moderated caucus, please raise your hand. Depending on how time goes, we will decide. Okay. This motion clearly passes, um, and you are now in a 15 minute unmoderated caucus to try to form mergers.
Luke, what the fuck are you doing? Luke, are you mute? Yeah, you're muted. Luke? Oof, okay. Sean, you're talking to the entire committee.
Uh, okay, guys. So our unmod is ending right now. So please leave Discord and return to Zoom. And uh, Maya will be taking over right now. Okay, I just want to um, ask a few questions to all of you. How far are you in terms of forming blocks and like finalizing your your mergers? We're pretty close. We're yeah, pretty we're close. really close. We just have like a little. So if I give you an extra two, yeah, if I give you a two minute extension, um, will all of you like finalize your um, merger blocks? We might need, need like a, another three or four minutes. Okay, so like it's five open, so. five minute extension. Yeah, that would work. Um, okay. Um, so I'm just gonna extend um the fifteen minute on mod. Um, so in five minutes, can all of you get back to me on um and finalize which blocks you're in? Uh, yeah. Is there anyone that cannot do this? Okay. Go back to Discord and finalize your box.
Okay, so the unmod is currently over. Can all of you exit the Discord and come onto the Zoom? Um, okay. Um, so, are all of you done with your final uh, doc, final resolutions and have created like the final blocks for mergers? Uh, yes. Yes. You have? Yeah. Is there anyone yeah, who not. has not? Is there are there any blocks who have not? Seeing as all groups are done, um, have all groups submitted their final resolution? Um, have submitted their final papers to the Limbrook MUN at gmail.com account? Uh, oh. no. Can all of you do so? Let me uh, do right it. now. Yeah. The best resolution block has resubmitted. Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys. And um, just to clarify, there are two um, blocks currently, right, with the merger? Uh, it's yes. Resolution okay. 2 and Resolution 3, we, um, went, we blocked. Okay. So I said... Right. Okay, um, sounds good. Can you can you resend as a PDF? Um, if any of you sent it as a yeah. Google Doc, I said I sent it as a PDF just now. Okay. Yeah. I believe I sent it as a PDF, but I can resend it if necessary. Just one second, um, we're gonna prepare uh, the resolutions and um, we're not gonna be doing amendments at this time, um, but right now the staff is preparing the resolutions to be um, portrayed for our final presentations. Wait, point of inquiry? Yeah. Uh, how will voting work when there's only two resolutions? Um, so it would work the same as if, if there were three resolutions. Yeah, but what if everyone just votes for their own resolution and doesn't vote for them? That, that's a possibility, but, um, the point of ME1 is also diplomacy. So there is, we hope that both resolutions do get passed. Uh, there's also a chance that n neither one gets passed, but because you do need a two thirds majority, but. In the meantime, if you have any other questions, um, you can also ask us. Um, point of inquiry, just curious, are there going to be more virtual conferences like this? Ian, do you want to respond to that? Yeah, um, so currently we don't have any more scheduled, but if there is um, interest from all of you, we can definitely plan more. There will definitely be some in August. We're just not sure if we'll have any in June and July. Oh, okay, thank you. Yeah, we're good to go. Yeah, I got it.
Okay, so I'll now be entertaining any points or motions. Yeah, um, the chair would highly smile upon um, introduction of the, three, the two um, merged resolutions. UK. A motion to extend unmoderated caucus by two minutes. Um, so, so the chair also asked um, before if all resolution working papers had been done. Um, so what would the point of this unmod be? Uh, uh, to, dis or to, dis to discuss like presenting. Okay. Um, so, wait, would we get time anyways to, to set, to work out who says what, or do we have to motion for that? Is he frozen? Okay, so we're gonna first introduce the resolutions and um, decide uh, how many speakers and the time limit before um, deciding um, what, yeah, and um, if they want if they want to do a Q&A um, before the unmoderated caucus where you decide on who's speaking what. So um, that being said, are there any points or motions? Wait, to clarify, you get to choose how many people will be speaking and what the time slot will be when you introduce the resolutions. And if there's a Q&A, so we can, you can also schedule a question and answer section. So the chair would highly smile upon introducing resolutions or moving into, um, yeah, the chair would highly smile upon a motion for introducing resolutions. Ethiopia. Oh, um, okay, Aus Austria. Oh, a uh, motion for an extent for a three minute extension to the unmod to figure out who says what on our resolution. Yeah, so we just mentioned that this will be have to be done after introducing the resolutions and deciding how many people speak and um, what time they're speaking for. Oh, okay, motion for uh, introducing resolutions three, three speakers per resolution and Five minutes speaking time per resolution. Um, do you want a Q and A with this? Yeah, and a Q and A. For an so can you can you can you repeat how long? Um, can you repeat like all the details again? Okay, three speakers per resolution. All right. Five minutes. Uh, for total speaking time. Uh, this is including Q and A, or do you not want any question and answers? Uh, including Q and A. Um, so, so are you going to present your resolution and then with the remaining time, you're going to have the Q and A? Yeah. Or is it okay to do like a five minute, uh, presentation and then an extra two minutes for Q and A? That's in order. Okay. Yeah. Are there any other points or motions? Yeah. I'll, yeah. All right. Got it. Um, are there any other points or motions? Um, can any of the chairs, can any of the chairs, uh, call on Actually, can I, people? Can Israel? I mine? I'm sorry. Uh, Austria, you want to amend yours to what? Eight minute total speaking time. So eight, eight minute total speaking time, that's, that's excluding Q&A. So if this, in this, you would have five minutes to present and then two separate minutes to have Q&A. Okay. So are you not amending yours? Uh, wait, so can I? Can I still do Q and A with eight minutes or no? Uh, that's 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 really long because we want to summarize a resolution. You shouldn't be reading out the entire thing. Um, we want to make like the only the main points be made. So okay. this is the maximum time I would recommend. Sure. Okay. Then I'll keep it the same. Israel, um, you can. 
Are there any other points or motions? Um, I know Israel, would you like to speak? No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Um, anyone else? Yeah. Um, okay, so now we'll be, um, by chair's discretion, um, okay, so we'll not be voting on Aus Austria's uh, introduction to present resolutions, three speakers, five minute total speaking time, two minute Q&A. All those in favor? Okay, this motion, this motion passes. Um, so now um, we will be presenting uh, the resolution by the time um, we got them. Um, yeah, does anyone else, else want to screen share for the working papers? Point of okay, inquiry. so, Wait, so oh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, don't we get time to like prepare who says what before it starts? Oh, that's right. Um, Give them like a two-minute on mod. Yeah. Um, do you want a motion for two-minute on mod? Yeah, motion for two-minute on mod. Okay. That is an order. Um, and just a heads all up. Those, uh, oh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, all those in favor? Okay, this, this passes. Um, you might now enter two-minute on mod to discuss. And while all of you are in Unmar, just a heads up, the you will have access to the both resolutions while you're doing Q&A. We'll send out the link after this Unmar is over. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so their unmod is over, um, and we're now going to present, introduce the resolutions as the UK uh, motioned for. Yeah. Um, okay, so we're we're gonna start um, with draft resolution one. Also, if you want, um, if you want to view the the resolutions, um, click the link in the chat. 
Bolivia, is there a question or? Um, uh, no, sorry. Okay. Um, Ian? The what? Uh, can you, can you open the draft resolution? Yes. Cause it's currently, yeah. Also, again, if you want access to the draft resolution while they're reading and during Q&A, the link is bit.oy slash vmonk papers. And we're going over draft resolution one. Okay. The resolution, the best resolution, sponsors UK, Germany, and USA, signatories South Africa, Nigeria, France, Canada, and India. Um, you now have the floor speaking for five minutes and with a separate two-minute Q&A. Okay. Can I begin? Or maybe? Whenever you're ready. Whenever you're ready. The General Assembly, acknowledging that this is a crisis detrimental to the entire human population as a whole, regardless of the, or regardless of the nation's wealth and level of development. We are re-emphasizing the importance of AMR research in underdeveloped countries. We are going to direct the WHO, or the WHO Foundation to research and awareness. 200 million US dollars will be allocated to research possible solutions for alternative solutions to antibiotics, scientific advancements, and breakthrough on understanding of resistance. We're going to allocate 400 million US dollars to fund education and awareness campaigns. Furthermore, we will request um, 50 million US dollars from the UN and other NGOs, funds that can help further research and help the development of cheaper possibilities. We're calling upon developed nations to increase communication by sharing their findings and require transparency from aid receiving countries, supervising organizations. This is in order to eliminate corruption and bribery. We are recognizing the importance of providing education to both people and healthcare providers. Funds will help this. Aims to inform the public of antimicrobial anti resistance issues using NGOs and other healthcare related organizations. Organizations including APUA, the Alliance for a Prudent Use of Antibiotics, and CIWF, Compassion in World Farming, shows how farming can be changed and the Keep Antibiotics Working campaign. We seek to educate the public on the importance of adequate sanitation and hygiene, especially in underdeveloped nations. This is especially important and is necessary to reduce antimicrobial resistance because clean water, sanitary conditions, and as a result, good governance will limit the presence of waterborne and foodborne diseases, especially in rural areas. And this reduces the necessity of antibiotics and thus reduces or slows antimicrobial resistance. We advocate for the training of medical professionals in developing nations. It is that we educate medical professionals about inappropriate antibiotic uses, such as overuses and um, essentially overprescription. We also provide information about any options that might help the population generally move away from antibiotics, such as vaccinating more people, especially in the flu season, and educating more people about setting a higher standard of hygiene and sanitation in hospital settings, especially those in rural areas. We also require transparency from aid receiving countries, um, their supervising organizations, in order to completely eliminate unintended consequences of um, these medical organizations, such as corruption or bribery. We can um, prevent purposeful or prescription, prescription through bribery, um, hold medical providers legally accountable for overprescription, and prevent drugs prescribed with little thought that result, result in hospitals with colonies of superbugs. And these, um, this accountability res, res, um, will come legally. And lastly, we reduce easy access to strong biotics without prescription or diagnosis, so we prevent self-medication. We'll also try to urge underdeveloped nations to take some of their funds and use them towards research as well as provide them education and also teach them about improving sanitization in those nations. And part of that will be the funding will go to lesser developed nations uh, based on how much they need. And in addition, in addition to informing them and providing training for their medical providers, the funding will allow them to use the money for research and find alternatives and solutions and reduce the unnecessary use of antibiotics. And funds will also go to support fighting, people fighting current diseases. And nations will also leverage their pre-existing initiatives, for example, at the CDC in the United States, to combine those with the other nations and provide a comprehensive and inclusive way 
a net network of governments, corporations, and organizations. And lastly, we'll call upon all, na all nations to create restrictions on the usage of antibiotics on farm animals. And major food corporations will utilize their brand names and global influence in order to prevent the access usage of antibiotics in livestock for growth and feeding purposes. We'll also create incentives, incentives for farmers to abstain from antibiotics. For example, an approved antibiotic-free sticker to promote the sale of non-antibiotic meat. And lastly, we'll restrict access to antibiotics for farm animals. For example, we'll, allow, we'll require a veterinarian prescription before selling antibiotics for food animals to make sure they're not going to an inappropriate usage. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we will now be entertaining a two minute Q&A. So if you have any questions, um, please raise your hand and I will call on you. Austria. Okay, um, so you suggested uh, making like stickers for a non-antibiotic meat, right? Um, so uh, if, if a farmer needs to do non-antibiotic meat and it might cost them more for actual medications when if an animal gets sick or they might lose some business. So do you have any plan to help farmers who lose some of their business because of because they couldn't use antibiotics properly well, yes yes we do yeah so um as we mentioned in the beginning of our resolution we have funds going to each country whether they're underdeveloped or not and these funds can help supply farmers that have to or that will soon eventually maybe raise the prices of these antibiotics and we can help them by supplying them with a fund or with like or with funding that that will allow them to take the first step in the initiative and to help renew their way of farming. Um, and I'd also like to add on to Germany is that when we have antibiotic free st stickers for a reason is that we see a global trend of consumers um, seeing to buy more products that do not have antibiotics, um, presumably for health concerns. So more of these consumers will buy these products from farmers if they have these stickers. And also these antibiotic stickers are just um, an example of incentives will have certainly many more incentives, which includes um, monetary ones. Are there any other questions? Please raise your hand. Are there any other questions? Um, seeing as there are none, this Q&A is over. Um, Ian, can you, um, Ian's gone. yeah, we need to present the other resolution, but the timer needs to end. Um, okay. So we're gonna, yeah. So I'll just, I'll just, yeah. Can someone else just share the screen? Uh, the, the draft resolution, draft resolution two, we're going to introduce and present, or we're going to present that resolution. Okay, so this resolution, the solution we need sponsors Israel, Austria, Chile, signatories, Brazil, Ethiopia, DPRK, India, Slovenia, and Colombia. It's spelled wrong. Kidding. Um, but, um, okay, so five minutes. Uh, we have five minutes to present and a two minute Q&A. So whenever you're ready, you can start. Okay, so our solution ensures the research and production of new uh, alternate solutions. So I was talking about bacteriophages, but I'm thinking of ending that. Instead, we'll just take funding for creating new kinds of alternate solutions, whether it be creating new antibiotics or more research into new solutions that we haven't discovered yet. And so this way we can evade uh, a huge shaky thing like bacteriophages that we don't know much about and instead put our money in something that we can control and that we know is happening and to get the money and the r d we have created a subcommittee within the who called the international antibiotic creators and this will be the research and development team and as you'll see later and also a surveillance system and it'll really help in creating in targeting resistant bacteria.
So uh, we're going to be forming new subcommittees for global AMR sur surveillance and education. So as I've explained before, it's called the IABC, and there will be two branches, surveillance and education. And for the surveillance, um, the surveillance will be taken by each country's health organization, and the source of the AMR will be tracked down through analyzing data uh, and contact tracing. And um, we have guidelines for human consumption and agricultural consumption. Uh, pharmaceutical companies will be punished if they give too much antibiotics and it'll be punished by a huge felony. And for education, uh, this committee's main job is both spreading awareness and teaching people, farmers and doctors to limit antibiotic use. And this will include hosting classes in public libraries and schools as well as corporations. They're also establishing uh, regulations on the usage of new drugs. They're limiting the distribution of new drugs to approved hospitals. We're also requiring that all drugs will have to be administered or prescribed by certified doctors. And these drugs should not be prescribed to someone unless they're into pain that may last over a week or if that pain or whatever condition they have may cause some significant damage. If they, um, doctors will be punished with heavy fines, uh, intentionally poorly over administer antibiotics and we will also regulate any secondhand medication and impose felony charges on pharmaceutical companies who bribe health officials or push physician, physicians to prescribe their drugs. And this solution also educates healthcare workers, farmers and just other normal citizens on the misuse of antibiotics and it would be thorough education to doctors on when you need to use antibiotics and when they're not needed. And we'll also give classes, like we were said before, to both farmers and citizens so they know when to use it on themselves, others, or agriculture. We're also teaching and bringing more awareness to the public about the dangers of AMR. We'll have speakers speak to schools and large platforms that many people will see, like TED, in developed and underdeveloped areas. We'll also be utilizing social media and have online personalities talk about the dangers of AMR. So for funding our resolution, we're going to be talking about pulling funding from the WHO budget. Uh, we'll be creating a fund pool which countries will donate to in respective amounts to their GDP. And we'll be holding fundraisers during, during World Antibiotic Week to raise money for the resolution. And social media personalities can also help out with the fundraisers by advertising them on social media networks. Uh, for example, if you've heard of the Team Trees movement, uh, it raised over $20 million. And we're also thinking about getting IMF loans and programs as funding. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so we'll now be going into a two minute Q&A. If you have any questions, please raise your hand. Germany. These new actions that you have um, suggested, like new antibiotics and further research, how will the WHO fund it? And is this a possible solution for every country? That yes. Like, so, oh, sorry, you can finish. Hold on. Uh, no, I finished. Okay. So, uh, in the funding resolution part, uh, we talked about a global pool, so more in depth. Pretty much, we're going to make it optionary to donate, but we have to remember that countries benefit themselves when they donate and we're also going to utilize other countries like mcdonald's helps the cdc in um in global awareness of antibiotic resistance and just we, there's already a world antibiotic week and there's nations respectively and in that we'll spread awareness and possibly fundraisers using social media to get more money and yeah that's how we get a lot of money UK. Uh, how is your subcommittee going to be unique from other organizations? So pretty much one is how, what, what it does. So we, we talked a bit at the start about um, how, how they make research and development very vigorously. But the biggest thing is one, it's database and two, it's education center. They'll both be based in that committee and we spread out a system using every country's respective organization like the CDC in America. What we do is we spread education systems and uh, we track data to make sure we are getting correct information all using this one committee. And it's also in charge of fundraising and yeah, research and development. Adding on what to Austria said, 
Uh, yeah, exactly. We're getting, um, we're doing, it's like much different from every other organization, which is like creating antibiotics, but none of them are surveying and- um, Thank you, the solution we need. Um, the Q&A has been exhausted. So we have now introduced, we have now introduced both resolutions. Um, are there any points or motions on the table? Austria. Motion for two for two against for both resolutions. Um, Should I make it one for one again? The chair, the chair would smile upon um, voting, voting, moving to voting block, seeing as we don't have enough time. Uh, Israel. Motion to move into voting block. That is an order. Um, all those four. Um, okay. Yeah, by chair's discretion, this motion passes. So we will now be voting on the individual resolutions. Um, Ian, if you could pull up the individual, each resolution, so they know which one it is. Hello? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so this is the solution we need, uh, the best solution, wait. Um, this is the best resolution. Sponsors, UK, Germany, USA, Signatory, South Africa, Nigeria, France, Canada, and India. So we will now be releasing a poll um, soon of this resolution. Um, and it will have three options. It will have um, four against and abstaining. If you were present and voting at the beginning, and we do have a list of this, you have to vote for or against, you cannot abstain. And the, you have to pass this with a two thirds majority. Um, yeah, so there has to be a two thirds majority for your resolution to pass. And the poll will be released very soon. For the five people raising their hand right now, do you guys have a question? Okay. Slovenia? Okay. Yes. Oh no, I, I saw your hand raised. So, okay, so motion, um, so, uh, we're not doing roll call. Um, okay, so, since we um, have a motion to move on to voting block, are there any points or motions? Uh, the chair will smile upon motion to um, vote on resolution one. Israel? Motion to vote on draft resolution one. That is an order. All those, all those in favor? This clearly passes. Um, so there's now a poll going around for resolution one. If you look at the bottom, um, and you ha you now have a minute to vote on this poll. Nigeria, do you have a question? Okay, never mind. Reminder that everyone must everyone must vote. Even if you abstain, you must um, click on abstain. So we should see enough of you. Uh, is that enough? Okay. 
If you haven't voted yet, please vote. So we need every single person to vote. Um, if this doesn't work, then we have to do a roll call vote. And if you don't want a roll call vote, please vote on this poll. Okay. Okay, so this resolution clearly passes. So applause. Applause is in order. Okay. Are there any other points or motions? Chile. Motion to vote on draft resolution two. That is in order. All those in favor? This resolution passes. Um, this, re this resolution passes and, oh, sorry, this motion passes and um, we will now be releasing a poll where you will do the same thing. Um, everyone needs to vote. So all 18 of you will have to choose either I, nay, or abstain. Okay, so all of you, so all you voted, this resolution also passes, so another applause is in order. Yeah. So, yeah, are there any other points or motions? India, oh. Are there any other points or motions? Austria. A motion to close debate. A motion to, we have to exit out of uh, voting block. A motion to exit voting block. That is an order by chair's discretion that will exit voting block. Are there any other points or motions? Slovenia. Uh, motion to end debate. By to end, uh, sorry, end, um, end uh, the committee session. No, okay. Um, wait, can you repeat that? Uh, never mind. Okay, so the motion was to um, end debate. All those in favor? Okay. This resolution passes, congrats. Oh, this motion passes. Um, we're now at the end of, we now have a uh, concluded debate. Um, good oh, job okay. to all of you for passing your resolutions and merging. And um, yeah, we're, we're now, the, the staff will discuss and you can mm. um, rejoin. Um, okay. Okay. So basically how this is going to work, um, now that, um, committee is over. So because it's kind of late, um, we're going to be deciding awards separately after you guys all leave, cause it's going to take us a while. So once we do decide awards, we will send out an email. The person who wins a gavel will ask you for your mailing address. We do have an actual gavel to mail you, although it might take a really long time because it's currently at our school. So we don't know how we're going to get it, <laughs> but it will be good. We will get it to you sometime between now and like September, hopefully. Um, for everyone else, you'll receive certificates online um, if you win any other awards, but you'll receive your notification through mail. 
We do apologize for any technical like technical difficulties throughout the duration of this conference. It is our first time doing a virtual mock, and we wanted to make sure everything worked. Um, if you guys are interested, um, we will be sending out a, a feedback form, which you guys are all, which we heavily, heavily, heavily recommend you fill out, which basically just please fill it out. Um, it's very helpful for us so that we can plan it for the future. And then also, if you guys, if you guys are, if you guys are interested in another mock conference after this, um, just let us know, send us an email saying you're interested, and then we'll be in contact with your, um, your school presidents. Um, just, and we'll, you'll get any inf other information through your school president and we'll also be sending out more email. But yeah, thank you guys so much for coming. Question. Oh, yeah. I Go just ahead. have a quick question. Uh, do we, ha is it going to be like best delegate and yeah. kind of like, like honorable? Also? Yeah. Okay. Cool. So as I said before, we'll be sending out, okay. So we'll be sending out awards. Um, we'll be sending out awards after, like after today. So we still have to decide with the entirety of staff. Once we do decide awards, we'll send out an email to whoever won. And then all the people who, every like outstanding honorable and verbal will get certificates. And then your um, best delegate will get a gavel, but the gavel will take a while to arrive because it's still stuck at Limbrook. But yeah, we will have awards. Okay, other than that, thank you guys so much for coming. Make sure you fill out tinyrail.com vmon slash vmon feedback. We really do appreciate any of your feedback, even if you roast the shit out of all of us, that's all okay. Um, we totally understand. So yeah, if you do fill out, if you can, please fill out the form. Other than that, you guys are all pretty much free to leave. You've got, all been here for way too long. So if you guys are dying to leave, you can't leave. If you want some feedback from the chairs, stay behind and you can talk to the chairs individually. Or if you have any questions, like more personal questions. Thank you guys so much for coming. We'll have a, we'll post a full video of both committee sessions on YouTube in case you ever want to come back and watch.